Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the channel and welcome to another Gran Turismo 7 video. In this one it is science time because we're going to investigate traction control off versus traction control on and ask the question is it actually slower just like it was in GT Sport where traction control on was significantly slower than traction control off. Now with Gran Turismo 7's new evolved handling model from GT Sport, certainly a few things have changed. Namely, the cars are a little bit more squeamish now, a little bit more oversteer, it is much easier to lose the car and throttle control definitely seems to be uh, much more of a premium and much more essential to driving nice and smooth and getting nice fast lap times in this game. So, with that said, it would stand to reason that traction control may well be a little bit more helpful in Gran Turismo 7 compared to GT Sport and we also noticed when we did the slipstream video that one of the big reasons why track control on in GT Sport was such a hindrance was because every time you change gear on the straights the traction control was activated and that would kind of hinder your acceleration very slightly and make it a little bit slower down the straights. We know from the slipstream video that that's no longer a problem so with that taken into effect and also the fact that throttle control is more important in Gran Turismo 7 I thought we'd do a little bit of an investigation and see whether traction control is now actually more relevant or more useful and maybe even actually just as good without traction control or maybe even faster. So in this video we're going to actually conduct three tests overall. Two of them are going to be to test outright speed between traction control on and traction control off. And then in the last test we're going to up the tyre wear significantly and uh, check how the tyre wear is affected by TC being on or off. Because I believe in GT Sport there was a difference between TC on and off when it came to the tyre wear. So test number one is going to be five laps around Fuji International Speedway. We're going to be in the Toyota Castro Toms Supra GT500. We're just on the racing hard tyres because up till this point I've not actually bought any other racing tyres for this car. And the tyre and fuel multiplier is just at times one. Now the reason we chose Fuji as a test track is I believe it's got a number of good corners to kind of test that difference between TC on and TC off, namely the exit of turn number one and also the exit of the last corner onto the main straight. Those are exactly the types of corners that would cost you for running TC in GT Sport. Uh, they've also got like say the chicane as well and just overall the last sector of Fuji is very much traction limited. So it should be a good test of the TC on TC off. So first of the test results are with traction control off. You can see our lap times there in the right hand side, mostly in the 142s. Now lap number one is quicker because you actually start the first lap after the start finish line. Don't ask me why. But in terms of the laps that were kind of full laps, two to five, 142.346 and then 4 again and yeah nice and consistent once we put the traction control on you can see again the lap times are actually very much within the same ballpark there is a little bit of an outlier there 141.6 on lap 3 that was significantly quicker than any other lap we did on any other conditions so significantly quicker than any lap we did with TC off and also any other lap we did with TC on but it does show as far as I'm concerned that traction control on is very much as competitive as traction control off and I would like to add that when we did the testing for uh, the traction control off I had to repeat the test several times over because I kept binning the car the moment we put traction control on I jumped in did the five laps and happy days the test was complete so I think that kind of, if anything else, shows you the benefit of traction control. Test number two is here at Linter Lagos. We're doing three laps. We're in a race spec Camaro with 635 brake horsepower. Basically the road car version with all the racing parts added on. Racing hard tyres, tyres and fuel at times one. And this car is an absolute monster. So hard to control, so much power, far, far too much power for the chassis, I'm going to guess. And yeah try to get this car around into Lagos which has got a number of very slow corners and that corner there in particular as we come out of the hairpin into the fast downhill left hander you go over a crest of a hill there all that horsepower, all that torque try to get the power down without traction control on is a little bit of a, a, a battle every single time and you can see as we come out the last corner there on the run up the start finish straight another big moment as the back end tries to step out this car was an absolute handful, there is no two doubts about that. But we managed to get it round for the three laps pretty cleanly. And uh, for whatever reason, when you cross the start finish line, it just kind of hides all that information. So we shall compare the lap times at the end of the run here with traction control on. So 
traction control actually on two that's how bad this car was to drive it's just how bad that rear end wanted to step out constantly now i knew straight away the moment i put on traction control that this car was much easier to drive now, don't get me wrong the back end still wanted to step out all the time but it was much more manageable much more catchable and i had several moments throughout this run where I believe if I never had traction control on, the car was gone, we were going to bin it. But because we had TC on, I believe we were able to kind of catch the car uh, much more comfortably. And when we compare the lap times, first lap was faster for TC off, but the second and third lap were much faster for TC on. And we were slightly faster overall on the finishing time as well. But I think that difference, to be honest with you, could even have been a little bit bigger because in the last lap, I think we were on for a 35, maybe 7. When we had this massive moment coming through one of the kinks, even with TC on too. Again, I don't think I'd have caught that if I didn't have TC on. So I'm going to chalk that one up to TC on. And I'm going to pretty much say that's doing the two victories for TC on over TC off. Test number three is all about the tyre wear. We're doing five laps around Monza with the chicane. We're in the Porsche living legend because why not? We'll probably never get any other proper reason to use this car. Racing hard tyres, tyre wear at times 12. So that should give the tyre wear a good workout fuel at times one and all i'm going to say about this car is this car is a little bit of a handful regardless of whether you've got traction control on or off and it was really quite difficult to put in some pretty consistent lap times so you can see the lap times there uh, it started off with again one of these ones where lap one is much quicker than every other lap because you start uh, ahead of the start finish line but it went from a 140.8 on lap two up to a 142.2 on lap number five moving on to traction control on one lap times are very similar again such a sketchy car did feel a little bit more manageable with the traction control on it uh, definitely felt there was a little bit of a safety net there in terms of tire wear though which was really the purpose of this test absolutely identical identical down to the pixel from what i can see you can see the tire wear there in the bottom uh, right hand corner of both of those screens so yeah in conclusion in terms of whether traction control being on is slower than traction control off, I have to say no. It looks very much like having TC on is every bit as competitive as having it off. Uh, unlike GT Sport, where it was a no-brainer. Yeah, what if you wanted to be quick in Gran Turismo Sport? You had to drive with traction control off. You had to get used to it uh, because you're probably looking at around about half a second to a second a lap just with TC on, just because it was so intrusive even on the straights that has been changed for Gran Turismo 7 and from my testing it looks every bit as competitive as traction control off and maybe maybe even just a little bit quicker in all three of the tests that we did there the quickest lap time we did was with TC on compared to TC off in terms of tyre wear it was absolutely even we actually finished the race distance in a quicker time in all three of the races with traction control on as well but here's the kicker for me there might not be anything really in it between traction control on and off in terms of raw speed but in every single one of these tests as well when i was doing the testing with tc off i had to restart the race at least twice because i kept bidding it that's how sketchy the rear end can be in these cars particularly in the, the camaro at interlagos and the porsche living legend these two cars were a nightmare uh, with the tom castro tom supra not so much of an issue having tc off but yeah See, let's just say even if track control off is a tenth of a second a lap quicker the fact is you're much less likely to bin the car and you, even if you have like a, a half bin with TC off it costs you three seconds that's going to be a lot more detrimental to your race than having TC on and maybe going a tenth of a lap slower and I actually think TC on is every bit as quick if not quicker than track control off so in conclusion traction control is not slower than traction control off that is my conclusion hopefully somebody else will do some testing this as well you know you can't only just take one person's uh, opinion on it because you know that's how science works you know when scientists are not right they just present results i think somebody once said <laughs> and i'm not a scientist either but you get where i'm coming from but hopefully you have enjoyed that video to an extent if you have please hit that like button please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye now.